Hello everyone, this is Detective DAC, welcome to the DAC Network, and today we are back with another Let's Plays on L.A. Noir. We are now on the finale, and we, the arson deaths, case number 26, A Different Kind of War. So this is it guys, this is the final case of the game, and to, I have to say guys, it went by really fast when I was playing this game, you know, I started around either late October, mid-November, I can't remember, but... This game went by fast. When I streamed this game, it, it felt long. Huh, for some reason, now it feels short. Probably because I'm going case by case. That's likely why. So, so furthermore, enough me, enough me talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? A different kind of war. It's got to be one of these places. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. All right, so looks like we're gonna... We are now... We're currently playing as Jack Kelso. I think we're also gonna be back as Cole Fells. It's likely we are, so... Let's go ahead and... Let's go to our next location. Let's go to Rapid ex ex Exterminators. Los Angeles? Okay, yep. Let's go. Rapid Exterminators, 2.37 p.m. Well, here we go. Let's go inside and see what's up. Let's Help talk you? to this guy. How many guys do you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, so we got ourselves a newspaper. Let's go ahead and read it. We're going to a back to story. Crusade against corruption. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Yep. So this is when it, it happened during this time. And this is where um Phelps gets he tried to get some payback on Roy, but he couldn't because he had to keep it professional. And so yep. It's now now Phelps is already know about uh, Earl's um, corruptness. So we got no leads here, so let's go to our next area. We're going to the nuclear bug run rodent control. And let's go. Nuclear bug and rotor control. 2.45 p.m. Alright, let's head inside see if we get anything. Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? 
I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here, me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear of germs? What the hell? All right, before we go, we're going to examine this. Let's see what this is. Yeah, it's nothing, so don't bother with that. If you ever hear that, don't just don't 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 bother with it. All right, I guess we're going to our next uh, last final extermination company. Westlake Pest Control. Let's go. Westlake Pest Control, 2.53 p.m. All right, head inside right now. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah, he lives in a bunkhouse. On the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Dr. Fontaine's surgery yesterday, 6 p.m. So this was recent. There's Cole Herschel. Cole! Rusty! Made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. So we are now as Cole Phelps. And this is the first time we see Rusty once again, but around with Herschel. I thought those two were like in one person, but I hope Rusty ain't the same Rusty, but it looks like he's taking his job seriously now. Here we go. Take your we're... time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. All right. Thank you, Rusty. So it looks like um we're in Dr. Fontaine's office. Where are those bathroom stories with this doctor? This is mostly his setting. What's it here? All right. Let's read the entries. Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Ooh, yep. It starts to connect now. The Sawyer, yep, remember that? Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. It's true. He's not wrong. Can we turn the page now? We could. Alright, let's see what's over here. Is that it? I guess so. I guess that's everything. We examined. I think we don't have to examine it again. Yeah, we're good. What's this? Oh, this is the crystal ball that um Dr. Fontaine knocked out um Elsa. It has blood Thank on so it. So much for your foresight, Doctor. Yep, yeah, okay, let's see what's next. Um there's a newspaper, but first we're gonna examine um, Dr. Fontaine. Damn, he got beat up badly. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. It's true. Phelps is not wrong on that. They have ooh, he has he has something on his in his hand. What is it? A lighter? Refer to investigate. I H. Who is it? All right, let me see what else we can find. What's over here on his other hand? Anything? No, I guess nothing. All right, let me see. Um. All right, let's see what else we can find. Anything around here? Hmm. Not really. We examined Fontaine, uh, Doctor Fontaine's body on that. Okay, there's something on the desk. There we go. Good doctor has been marking this map. All right, let's go ahead and remove the pencil. Ooh, a hidden message. 
Make sure we get it. Make sure we get every single area to to show what's. Yep, we got ourselves something. A guy. Edgewood Grove. McCarthy Vista. Crescent Heights. Rancho mm. Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Is that it? I guess that's the dialogue. Let's take a look at this map. New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? Freeway route. Okay, at least we got something. I guess that's it? What's, what's over here? Okay. Wow, it actually matches. I guess not really. All right, there's another newspaper, guys. So enjoy this fight. This is the final background story. So you guys go ahead and read it. The face of progress. Says Mayor of Development Lee Lam Monroe. Here we go. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelso. All right, there you guys have it. Let's see what else we can find. Broken glass. Lead outside. I think I think we're not done yet. Okay, there is one more clue here, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. What is it? Oh my gosh, the same morphine syringes. Like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Those are the same ones back in the vice um desk. What's this? Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we gonna prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get jacked. We need the firebug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Right ranch bunkhouse today, 7 p.m. So Wow, everything starts to pick up to but who is it? Who's the the person? Uh, who's this Oki cowboy they're describing of? I don't like where Kelso's at. Uh oh. This looks scary, to be honest. It's like nobody lives there. Investigate Rancho Rickon. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. Anyone there? Guess nobody's home. Let's take the door. Wait, what's this? 
It's a. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. I know this is a. This is a freaking flamethrower. I think it does connect. But who is it? Alright, let's see what we can find around here. Dang, this place looks creepy. Wait, what's this? Is this like. Crowd kill? No, it doesn't seem. Yep, nothing. Alright, let's see what else we can find around here. Are any of these doors open? Hmm. Okay, where is it at? Okay, it is. What's it? A screwdriver. Hmm. Does it see anything? Alright, let's check. Alright, we're in a different room. Oh my god. It's those little cranes that we found the first case. Yep, we've seen this before. No, not the first case, but I think the first of the arson deaths. Alright, let's go ahead and start investigating. Alright, let's open it. It is... It's the same header. The same flyer. That's the one Herschel opened. Wow. Alright, let's see what else we can find around here. Quite What's a this? Flock you got here, kid. Right? Alright, there's something over here. Another crane. Can we further investigate it? I don't think this time. No. Then this room is extremely dark. Alright, there's nothing in here. Wait. Oh, this? I'm not sure this is going to help. No. It's the, it's the, fl it's the coils. Just like how we found in Varley's, um, Varley's, um, locker in the, the very first arson desk. The first, alright, let me see. No, nothing here? Alright, let's go over here. Is anything in here? Looks kind of fancy in here. No, nothing over here. Dang, this place just gives me the creeps. Don't get me wrong. What's this? A Tommy gun. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's see what else we can find. I guess that's pretty much it. What's this? Okay, something's under here. Wait. Nah, it looks like a box of cigarettes. So there's nothing over here. We gotta find something around here. Alright, hang on. Where is this dark room at? I don't seem to see anything around here. Pictures! I know those faces. It's the Jesus team that Christ, we're- I know every one of them. Yeah, this is the whole entire, um, these are the teams of the Okona, po I mean, Coles and, and Kelso's platoon back in Okinawa. That's, wow, I think the suspect is, might be one of those members, but who is it exactly? Let me see. Oh, we gotta find something. I think we're still missing something. Is this, does this, this lead outside? No, this is a dark room. See if we can find anything here. Nope, nothing. Another door. Hmm. Nothing here. It's not that dark, honestly, but it is dark. We have to start checking all these doors. Let's go in here. I was in here though, but there was not much anything to find in here. Do I have to go outside? 
Yeah, there must be something out here. I need to get back inside. The only way I can finish this thing is to put a name to that bastard. But who is it? I'm trying to figure it out. If I can't find the last clue, guys, I guess I'm gonna edit that out and we'll... Until I find it. Wait, hang on a sec. This looks like one of the valves. We've seen this before. Wait, what's this? Ellis Tunnel. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. I guess we know our next lead now. Oh my god, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. So there you guys have it. It's already revealed who the suspect is. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator, Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. Wilshire Police Station, 8.30 p.m. KGB, I'm calling car 11, K11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, you see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, handle code 3. What the hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. Alright, here we go. Let's escort Jack Kelso to LA River Tunnel. So we got to protect Kelso now. All units, Chief Moral reports that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely That's a lie. It, it's the it's the, the the corrupt chief of the LAPD. Yeah, we're gonna take him down. So we're against our fellow officers. All right, we're good. All right, we're good. Jesus Christ. How many cops do these guys own? It's the chief of police. He's involved with this. We have a new suspect vehicle. Shot number 13516. Repeating. Shot 13516 is a second suspect vehicle. Described as a green Lexus Commodore. License 3, Sam 011. Yep, so now they report this car. So all these corrupt cops are, are being paid by the chief. He's the one who's paying these guys, so... So they don't know that's Cole Phelps. You know this Herschel's car. You gotta keep this guy away from Kelso. Ooh, nice one, Kelso. Hey, he's good with that. So we got Phelps and Herschel and and Jack with this. We're going to the Ellis River. I mean, I said Ellis River. I'm sorry, I got confused with Los Santos. It's Los Angeles, the Alley River. My apologies, guys. That's what happens when you play GTA if I and play it that's like based on Los Angeles. And you start calling everything from the game. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. All right, come on, Kelso, let's go to the river. Let's Let's go full speed. I think they're, I think we're we're off the clear now, so I guess we're just gonna escort um Kelso. Here we are at the river now, I believe. This looks like it. 
We're going through the train tracks. Yep, that's it. Yeah, we're here. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail-safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it? Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? So Peterson is one of the, who's the guy who came to um, Kelso. He came. He came to Kelso's aid to see. Um, he wanted to. He, all right, we gotta kill these dudes. These are Monroe's dudes. All right, we're good. Let's pick up a Tommy gun while we're at it. Let's not rush this because I'm taking way too much health. Let's get a good shot of these guys. Got him. Headshot. Let's grab a Tommy gun. So basically, what's going on is um. Since Kelso, uh, he investigated everything he could find, at least all the way to Monroe, to the chief of police, to all the way to the, um, all the way to the mayor. What's this, uh, you know, let's take the Tommy gun. I would like to take the M M1 Grand, but, um, I'm just gonna stick with the Tommy gun. Only because it's very helpful. Unless the BAR is available. Or the bar, as people call it. So now, it turns out the suspect was Ira. Who's Ira, you guys ask? He was the flamethrower of Cole's uh, platoon in the in the in the war. So what happened was um, Ira. You want me? You he's the flamethrower, and what happened was Ira was the person that Cole sent to burn that cave. What was that cave you guys asked? It was the cave for the. It was a Japanese ho hospital, and he burned it all down. It's very dark, guys. That's why I like about. And that's why I like to put the war stories at the end of the video, because you only can see them once. Afterwards, you can't see them again. I made that mistake in the um, earlier my my last place, because I didn't know it was going to work that way. I thought you could watch them again. Unfortunately, you can't. All right, let's kill more of Monroe's guys. So, Ira has Elsa. He's the one who kidnapped her. What we got here? Let's grab this gun. Let's grab the BAR. This thing's really powerful. It's kind of weird playing this along with Call of Duty 2 and playing like most stuff based on World War 2 and all that. It just makes me like World War, the World War 2 aspect just more, more than I did before. Alright, let's go through. Oh, look. Look at that. That flamethrower. That's Ira. Let's go ahead and get to him. Alright, then now we're at the... The main area, we're gonna start killing these guys. Man, how many men does Monroe have? Alright, we're gonna need to shoot short first. This gun's really good. Got him. Now let's make our way to the other side. There's like a ladder or somewhere I could probably could jump over. Mm, nothing over here. Throw out the gun. Let's pick up Phelps' hat. Now, he's here no, that's uh, I said Phelps. I'm Kelso. Almost out. Need a new weapon. All right, then we'll get a Tommy gun at the end. Running low. Yeah, there we go. Let's. You're careful. And your buddies are dead. Let's get the Grand. Oh, this guy's a bar. Come on, come on, buddy. Show yourself. Oh man, as such you can't put the grand or the bar in the um Ooh, let's go! Kelso with the flamethrower? Ho <laughs> ho This should be fun. 
All right, let's go. Let's let's make our way down. Oh man, this is what I like about this game, especially the finale. It's kind of doing this cool stuff. All right, there's nothing over here. This is where we came back. That's what what happened. There must be another doorway somewhere. Hmm. No, there is. Oh, there it is. I I, I missed that. And now the water starts to flood up. We have to find our way to the other side. The water's rising. Come on, we gotta get to it. Come on, Kelso, what are you doing? Oh no, this water's rising up. Let's take, let's go through here. It will be safer. Yeah, that works. There must be something climbable. Come on, we gotta kill this guy. Where do we go? Oh, it's over here, huh? You want me? You there must me. be a ladder here. Yep, I see it. Here All right, good. I thought I was not gonna make it, but we're good. Let's just ignore that guy. All right, here we go. Let's burn some guys. Here we go. That'll be cool. We kept the flamethrower, but Come we on. can't. I'm just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna ignore the other weapons. Oh no 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 no! We're good. All right, let's, let's be careful. I'm gonna get Kelso on fire. Oh my god, this is so awesome! I think did I pick up the flamethrower my the last time I played this game? I don't think I did. Oh, more in, more more goons. Now watch out! Council's taking too much fight. And this thing does not have good range. No, we're good. We'll make a run and Punch. burn this guy. Yeah, we got this guy on fire. Now let's go around. Let's go find um Phelps and Ira. Alright, let me see. Oh no no no, we can't. That way's rusted. Let's go around. All right, anyone? I think I saw Phelps. I think that was him. Any way to get here? No, dead end. There must be a way around. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Another rest of spot. Yeah, be careful. But where do I go? Let me see if I can figure this out. I forgot the route to this. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. Is it over here? Yeah, it is. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And the hop? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get 
impact. The doctor helped me to find my path, and I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapons team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Chrysler Chapel, 2.30 p.m. You guys know what just happened. There's Brokowski. No, that's not the other guy's Brokowski. Herschel. Everyone that knew Cole Phelps has came. What a tragedy. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system Ryan, you belittle his memory Elsa. get out of my way Jack you call yourself his friend a detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe go to her will you Herschel a reformer who we'll never his the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend.
Well, there you guys have it. That that wraps up Ellie Noir. Damn, that ending. It sucks, man. As how much I like Cole Phelps. He was a he was an awesome character, you know. You know, there's some mistakes he made, but he never gave up as a police officer or in a detective. So yep, it's kind of sad that the story ends with Cole Phelps dying. Not only that, guys like Roy, Roy Earl just get away walking. It just sucks, but man, yeah, this one the one those saddest deaths in in history of gaming, you know. I think I'm gonna go as top five, but there's some more that are re more sadder. But damn, this game was so good. But yeah, other there you guys have it. Um, that's the end of L.A. Noir. You know, this game is worth playing because the reason why I like this game because it feels like if you ever play games like True Crime, Sleeping Dogs, everything you play as an officer, I think L.A. Noir is fits in that category. Especially if it's in the 1950s, it's something way different. Especially when I first played this, it, it was even more sadder because I have no idea what happened until I noticed that Phelps dying. And he said his final word goodbye to Kelso, Biggs, and um and Elsa. That's why this game, everything's so good. No, some things don't make no sense, but it's a video game. But at the same time, it's just so freaking well done. You know, like. And honestly, I'm actually glad I played this game because, um, you know, you guys voted for this, you know, either that or a different game, but, you know, I'm glad to play this game again, but this time do things much better in a better way. Oh, that's right, we're gonna go I think we have to skip the credits or to do this. So, Alright, guys, we're gonna skip the credits and we're gonna go ahead and, um, take a look at our results. Let's see if we can redo that. No, I don't think so, guys. So I think we're gonna let the credits play before we get our results. I wonder if it does have results. Oh no, it doesn't. Cause I look at the at the files, they don't have the results on this mission. So I don't think there is no way to skip this. So I guess there you guys have it. I guess this is La Noir. I guess we're gonna wrap this up here. If the anything extra um, post, I'm gonna put it by the end of the video. So, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like new here and my subscribe. This is um LA Noir um Arson Disc Case Number 26 Finale. A different kind of war. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DAC Network. This is Detective GAC saying signing out. How about this for a headline? Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. 
You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the sixth have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me.